Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 28th, 2023. Well, I hope everyone had a great evening yesterday and hope you had a great day. But yesterday, we all of a sudden saw some bears show up, and they showed up in pretty good force. Uh, we've been um, talking about, I've been talking about this overbought condition in the market, so it shouldn't have been much of a surprise. But we have um, futures trying to push things right back up here this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, we've got a lot of bearish engulfing candles showing up in the charts all over the place. But overall, I don't think anything really changed here. Um, clearly, there's a little bit of fear that cropped cropped up in the market with that big wave of selling that came in. And as I have been mentioning that when the selling starts, it could be quick and it could be substantial. And that's just because everyone would be running for the doors at the same time, trying to protect their profits. So looking at the diamonds here, you can see we pulled back pretty sharply and we came into this little support area that I mentioned yesterday um, pushed down pretty strongly but then by the end of the day we had a, a, a significant point rally um, right at the end of the day pushing us back up just a bit as you can see Kim kind of come in there and pushing us back up in the Dow but um, when we look overall in this chart we still have some issues and concerns because we still are very very extended in the short term if we take a look right across here this would be the next major support in the chart um, to be paying attention to and that still would be a very significant decline of about 500 points to come back into there and by the way if we did do that that wouldn't even come close to bringing us back to our 50-day moving average that we have stretched so far away from so keep in mind we still have that possibility of more pullback um, it just may not be today looking um, here at uh, the chart if the bulls can continue to find inspiration and push us right back up I'm going to suggest we come back up and re retest that resistance high right there see whether or not we can push through um, again and if the bears find um, additional inspiration to push down today well if we don't hold this support level right in here then I think about the only place we can go is um, back down maybe testing some of these areas right in here possibly that gap um, and pushing down toward this um, um, support level right there in the chart. So we have the potential of some very big point moves in the market, so we should be prepared for that. And as I've been mentioning, morning gaps, big whipsaws, complete reversals um, continue to be in the cards as we stretch this market in kind of some irrational um, exuberance here in the market where we've priced things uh, to perfection and really beyond in many cases here in the market. Now, one of the reasons that's occurring is because all the hype and all the spin that, uh, that we see on earnings, which earnings have just really become another manipulation of the market. Um, we continue to lower uh, price estimates in the market and then we just surge those prices higher in the stocks when the company happens to beat those lower estimates so um, and if that's not a manipulation I don't know what is but that's, um, that's something that um, everybody just seems to love that process and just chase and chase and chase into these stocks now if we take a look at our SPY SPY and by the way um, yesterday that shot of volume uh, or that that uh, bearish engulfing candle brought in a shot of volume that we haven't seen here for just a little bit so a little bit more um, concern maybe raising on 
that possibility of a pullback. Now remember, we don't have to fall directly. We could actually bounce around in here and just go into a longer sideways pattern that would allow that 50 day moving average to catch up. But just keeping in mind, if this, if this is our trend here in the chart, and you could argue that no, the new trend is here, that still is going to require probably a, a month or so of sideways move um, in uh, the diamonds just for that 50 day moving average to catch up and it may take longer than that. If we take a look at our SPY SPY also bearish engulfing candle pretty ugly whipsaw here on the day but the good news is we held on to some support in the chart. So if the bulls find inspiration well I'm going to suggest we push right back up here and retest that um, high of yesterday and if we push through there you know that red line is still up there um, which is a, um, a resistance area that we'd want to be watching for on that upside move if the bears continue to find inspiration the question will be whether or not this support level holds push down into there and bounce we'd be in good, great shape but if we were to fall through there then I think the next level lower might be this little accumulation right in here that we might find some support and then right back down here and possibly even the trend of the SPY now keeping in mind our 50 day moving average is still a long ways away so no harm here on the trend of the spy with that pullback but it could be a bit painful and then just keeping in mind if we don't fall um, then the consolidation in here could last for a very long time um, as we wait for that 50 day moving average to come back up um, let's take a look at our QQQ QQQ very much a similar situation but the good news here on the QQQ is we have been resting and that rest is a positive thing. Now, we do have a more than a bearish engulfing candle, a little bit of a complication here in the QQQ, where this could constitute the first lower high in the market. So we'll wanna be watching carefully because if we do follow through to the downside, on this and I think a, a test for a follow through the downside has a pretty good support right here in the chart but if we do follow through to the downside on there and hold in that area we may just rest over here sideways but if this turns into that lower high and we were to break through that support area in the chart that could um, raise a little bit of fear or raise a little bit of concern in the market. Um, however, with Intel uh, producing well last night, we're getting a big gap up here in the QQQ. So again, gaps, whipsaws, watch carefully for them here in the market. If the bulls find that inspiration to continue to push, let's look for a retest of that resistance there. And it's not too hard to see if we were to break through there, then we'd go back up here and see if we can test those highs. Once again, if the bears are inspired today and we break this little support here, I'm going to suggest we test this area here in the chart for support. Failure there would probably take us down toward this trend and a little bit of price support right in there to hold us um, in the QQQ. Our IWM also had a pretty rough day yesterday with a big old bullish and bearish engulfing candle here and we did break back down below this little price range breakout that we were looking at. We came close yesterday in that surge to the upside of testing that resistance that I had talked about in the chart but didn't quite make it there. So if the bulls find inspiration I'm going to suggest that we push back up here and see if we can test that high and if they can push through there then there's that resistance in the chart but if the bears were to be inspired today well you can see where we have that possibility we did kind of break this little price support area in here on that chart and we're holding um, this morning in the gap up but just keep in mind if that were to fail then we're probably looking at um, an area down in here or possibly even a bit lower so just watch that closely here in the chart that'll be a kind of a key area right there for the bulls to defend once again that pullback doesn't really change a whole lot here trend wise we're just so far away from our 50 day moving averages as we've been extending and extending and extending the market and then keep in mind we'd have about a month of a con consolidation if we just go sideways here
If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX saw a pretty good spike in fear yesterday when those sellers came in and came in so hard. But again, I don't think there's any major harm here just yet. Notice that we had all of this um, resistance in the chart actually do its job and hold. And as I've mentioned, the real fear won't occur until we break that downtrend and then hold the higher low. That's where the fear will really start to come into the market. And we'll, we'll probably see the markets show topping patterns if that were to occur. So if those bulls can continue to push here in the market, I look for this to push right back here today, push us back down here into this range. Um, if they really get going, break that support level right there and the bulls will uh, be maintaining their control. Or things will get a little bit I'm uncertain here as if those bears were to push up through that downtrend. So watch that carefully if that were to occur, if those bears continue to stay a little bit more active. If we take a look at our T2122, you guys know our T2122 has been signaling for us for a while that we've been very overbought and I've been suggesting that if the selling begins, it would be pretty sharp and it could be very quick. And well, we got that yesterday. Now in that pullback, I want you to notice we only come back here to the middle of the range, which means we still have a big potential. If the bears continue to engage, there's a lot more downside that could occur in the market. If the bulls find that inspiration, we are gapping up this morning on bullish stuff. I would expect this to bounce back up, but we'll wanna be watching for that potential that we could create some kind of a lower high in this and then start um, resuming that uh, sell side to relieve some of that overbought pressure here in the market. Um, let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108 was giving us clues and right-way options yesterday that all wasn't as good as it was appearing to be in the index charts because as we were rallying up yesterday, our T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40, was declining. It wasn't declining so much as to be really fearful, but it was declining, showing that um, while we had a few stocks pushing those indexes higher, that there was a lot pushing to the downside. And right in here, we can see that this is a very overbought condition in the market, and um, you can experience those really tough pullbacks when we do that. Now, overall, I would say not a, not a lot has changed here. I'm not going to say that this is a bearish chart in any way, shape, or form yet. So with the push and what we've been doing here lately on Fridays is rallying every Friday, we could pump this right back up. But then um, next week, I would be looking for more potential selling coming in the market. So raise those stop losses, protect yourself in the market because we could wake up some morning and see us flipped to the downside pretty hard without a chance to adjust for it. It'll just show up in the morning gap. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also still very extended, but it was hinting yesterday while we were still rallying that there was a problem here as we saw the percentage of stocks above the 200 slipping. So watch that closely. Still very, very strong here. We still have support levels in that chart that can hold this. This isn't anything to be all that concerned about just yet. But once again, if we pop back to the upside, we're right in that bearish area of the market where we're overbought. So again, if it doesn't happen today, it might be next week. So make sure you're protecting yourself. If we take a look at our T2101, interestingly um, here, our market breadth did make, didn't make any change in direction here yesterday with that sudden um, uh, push of bearishness. Now, typically you would see um, um, breadth increase if the bears are really going to get active here. So watch that closely. We might catch that hook in here today to push to the upside boat. Um, what we have been seeing on these last few days of rally, volume declining and just kind of running out of steam. So that breadth has been declining, but we'll want to watch that closely if it suddenly begins to spike up and we see those bears being more active. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, uh, obviously we have a busy uh, morning here on our economic calendar with 
personal incomes and outlays numbers. Now the personal incomes and outlays you can see on a month over month basis, they're looking for that to come in flat, no change to the downside. And as a matter of fact, personal consumption staying in there very strong and actually increasing. So this number has that potential that it could come in hotter than expected. We'll wanna watch that closely. Now a consensus, this is these are the real ones that um, a lot of, well, the Fed will be paying attention to is what's happening year over year. Is their work um, having an impact? And you can see cons consensus is suggesting we go from 4.6 to 4.2. So declining there month over month, a little decline. So that could still inspire that bullishness if we do see that decline occurring here in the market. So watch that carefully. And then remember, we've got um, uh, employment cost in Index. We're going to have consumer sentiment um, here paying attention to today, Baker Hughes rig count and um, farm prices. Um, of course, earnings tends to be the most focused on thing during earnings season, and that I don't think is going to change today. Um, because there is no blog today, I'm going to show you this. This would be the notable reports for today. You could kind of uh, take a screenshot of that or stop the video here and check those out uh, for yourself. So so we've got, um, well, a little bit of a theme of oil in here. We've got CVX, ExxonMobil, we've got uh, Clorox in here, Newell Brands, um, Procter & Gamble will be reporting this morning, so you'll want to be keeping an eye on that. Um, so several things in here that could be potentially market moving, but obviously a lot less um, than we've seen here the last couple of days. Um, in the market moving us around. So keep a close eye on that as the morning progresses and these earnings come out. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today, guys. But before we do that, if um, you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen um, the YouTube videos for Right Way Options and, and the Morning Market Prep, if you could do me that favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. I did get a chance to answer those comments today um, with the situation with my mother-in-law and um, some other family things that we've got going on. I can't guarantee that I'll be doing it today, answering those, but I'll do my very, very best um, to um, answer those. You know, it every, every day right now is just um, a minute to minute. Um, uh, whether or not we're uh, taking off and, and um, running to the hospital. So um, please understand and, and thank you so much for continuing to post to the video and showing that engagement with the video. That helps it to grow. And thank you to everyone who does take the time to, to just share this video link um, um, out on their social media feed. That helps the channel to continue to grow as well. And I just want to say thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Be very, very careful here in the market and um, make sure that you are following your trading rules and your risk tolerances for every trade that you consider here in the market. Now, first off, let's take a look at um, something that, well, might be seeing a little bit of fluctuation. There's quite a little bit of fluctuation in currencies last night. Uh, Japan made some surprise move um, last night and they left their, um, you know, negative interest rates in place, but they made some adjustments to their um, yield curve um, allowances, which, um, surprised the market and there was quite a little bit of fluctuation in the Japanese yen last night um, and that also fluctuates the US um, markets here as well so watch that carefully but the dollar showing just a tiny little bit of weakness here this morning heading into that um, 
or PCE number. So watch that closely. Now, having said that, um, when you take a look at some of the commodity prices out here, U.S. Steel reporting yesterday, not really getting a very big move in here, but holding up nicely. If we see the dollar begin to weaken, I think there's a pretty good chance this may continue to the upside. You can look at stocks like CLF also setting up. I think this is a beautiful chart pattern. Could be moving to the upside and may be a reason to be picking up some trades here you can see um, uh, we're well past earnings on CLF here so watch that closely if that dollar begins to weaken look for those to come back to the upside so watch that closely now one thing we saw yesterday is we saw some pretty good declines um, in um, the oil sector stocks we're going to get these earnings reports on Exxon Mobil today that could um, give us a little bit more data on how that oil sector is working notice we've rallied back to this downtrend in here in the chart which means if we don't get a good report here, if we can't break through this downtrend, this might actually be the next opportunity to short and push ExxonMobil back down. And I would say that CBX is looking a little bit differently here and just because we've had such a, um, a rectangle type of base being put in here on that chart and we did break through a lot of that resistance to the upside. So if that can hold up in here, you can see quite a little bit of volatility in that pre-market but if we can hold up here we might see that opportunity that CVX moves to the upside so watch those closely today and this is going to be again very dependent on what happens with the dollar if the dollar continues to strengthen that could be a problem we also have a situation here in the oil and gas sector that's a little bit concerning for the Fed and that is oil prices going back up and you've seen those prices at the gas pump going back up adding to the inflation so we'll want to watch that carefully um, um, energy costs are a very big factor when it comes to um, calculating um, inflation so just kind of keep that in mind um, as we move forward if oil continues to push to the upside with those oil pack OPEC cutting production the way they have it's going to make it kind of challenging here of uh, um, some of these oil sector stocks um, good chance there could be some rallies now one of the things that has been really surprising to me and I continue to to mention this is the strength in retail my goodness retail is showing lots of strength which is interesting because there is a story out there um, talking about the major decline in cardboard box sales I mean really big decline um, we're kind of looking back to 2020 levels of cardboard demand which would suggest just the opposite of what we're seeing here in these retail stocks that folks just aren't making their online buys like they um, have normally done so um, kind of a contradiction here in what's happening but let's watch these breakouts uh, GPS breaking through gap stores um, resting and pulling back would set up the next opportunity along that trend watch that in there we saw Macy's uh, trying to make a move yesterday to break that um, um, resistance here we popped up but then that selling came in yesterday and uh, pushed us back down but watch that carefully in there if we can kind of complete this little wedging pattern there may be that opportunity to the upside um, stocks like Costco oh my goodness um, just whoops let's get the right symbol um, Costco just tearing it up here in the market showed a little bit of bearishness I would look for a pullback to occur here in this chart we're finding some price resistance here so a little rest or pullback but then that would set up potential upside opportunity um, in Costco we saw Walmart pull back just a little bit yesterday from that resistance it's got earnings coming here on 817 and we're testing these all-time highs so if we can hold in this area don't don't be too surprised if we can hold this this support in here find those buyers come right back in and push that through to the upside so retail showing lots and lots of strength um, stock like MDT as you guys know I've talked about this one several times watching this one pretty closely it's gonna report on the 22nd but MDT is one of those 
medical areas that um, could really take advantage of AI. So watch this closely in here. Big old bearish engulfing candle yesterday, but notice we're not following through, at least in the pre-market to the downside. So keep a close eye on this. Breaking above that support, we may rest out here toward trend, but look for that next opportunity in MDT. Um, Carvana, Carvana uh, pulling back to its trend possible support level coming here in this chart. Now there is something different here that I want to mention here in Carvana and it's just this meteoric rise and we've seen this in a lot of charts and although we might be pulling back to catch support that new activation of the bears could raise some questions here um, whether or not this should be priced this high or not. Watch that carefully. If this were to create any kind of a lower high in here, I'd be watching it for a potential short. And if it were to fail through that support level and then produce that lower high, it would be a pretty clear opportunity for a short-term short. So watch that closely. I would, at a minimum, be raising my stop losses here um, or be backing out of this trade altogether just in case that fall um, starts to happen. Um, take a look at some of the pay systems out there. Uh, PayPal still consolidating here. I still have that my alert. You can see it popped yesterday. I did not buy just because we're so extended in the market, but I'm watch, still continuing to watch this in here, that possibility that the bulls may push on through holding this upside trend and we can look for that next push to the upside here in PayPal. Doing the same here in SQ. Uh, I've been talking about that. You, you know that I've been keeping an eye on all of these pay systems because how people are spending is how the market is going to react. And we're, we're just in those places where we're seeing some question marks. We're seeing some support levels come into play. We're seeing resistance levels come into play. Um, trends are still holding in these. So um, this could be a telltale of where the market might go. Watch those closely. Take a look at stocks like FedEx, very, very strong here. Our shipping is obviously very strong here. So any rest or pullback here in FedEx, I think sets up that next opportunity to the upside. Just get that little rest like we did here, set your price alert and you're off to the races. So there's a few stocks for you to be thinking about, paying attention to. I'd keep a close eye on those bonds today and that dollar fluctuating around like it has. We'll see if those bears re-engage again today. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see us rally here uh, for Friday. That's been kind of the typical thing here lately. But don't be too surprised if um, those bears um, um, start getting a little bit more emboldened and we get that potential pullback coming in the market. Doesn't mean we collapse or fall all apart just that that normal pullback that we would expect so everyone take care have an awesome day i want to wish you all a wonderful weekend and i'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning wish you all the best